Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Mahoka Koko Noreto Se, season 2 episode number 10. Okay, first of all, um, I have like, uh, what can I say, like I have decided to push this, uh, like uh, this episode a bit earlier, like I'm going to release it a bit earlier on the same day, because obviously like today I'm also going to do like, uh, put a reaction to Attack on Titan. So you guys might see a little bit of timing um like discrepancy is that a word yeah um and like mahoka will be pushed a little bit before and then i'll be doing attack on titan like after that so that's the reason why like i'm putting uh, like putting pushing this out earlier so yeah and uh yeah that's it that's the thing that i was going to talk about okay so yeah in the previous episode uh the previous episode we got a lot of information uh, about uh the I forgot his name, his name was Hitskull or something like that, uh, which was like a hacking thing, uh, like a backdoor in Echelon 3. And uh, we got to meet the, one of the sages, and he gave a lot of information about the other sages and the plan and the whole thing about the parasites, like a lot of information. And uh, also, we got to see like um, Angelina, her assassinating uh, the parasites that were caught. So, yeah, yeah, like, uh, episode number 9 was uh, filled with a lot of things. And, uh, like, it took, took a bit of time for me to, like, process all of it. Because, obviously, as you know, Mahoka is uh, a bit, uh, like, too much with the uh, technical things, which is, I, which I like, and which I, like, enjoy. I enjoy, like, uh, learning all of the uh, bits and the nooks and, uh, like, uh, corners of the anime that I'm watching. So it's uh, like it's kind of like um, I don't know like like moves my brain cells. That's it. So yeah, I like that. So that was uh, the reason I liked the previous episode. It was good. So yeah. So yeah, guys. Um, let's get started. This is episode number ten, almost at the end. Uh, I think I'm not sure how much how many episodes is. I think more for one or one or two more episodes. I'm not sure. So yeah, guys. Um, so. Without further ado, let's get started with episode number 10 of Mahoka Koko no Retose season 2. Okay, just a sec. So yeah guys, uh, I'm ready. So without further ado, let's get started. So as always, I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here. Sync to whichever is your preference and let's get started. Okay, here's the countdown. 3, 2, 1, go. Okay. New day. Oh no, Angelina. Well, she, it is correct. Like she's not suited for assassination. Like. Oh boy, the change in the. Now, question is, which way, way did he say that? Like, different words. Was he referring to himself or Angelina? I think himself, because obviously, like, he has a lot of things on his plate, which I doubt, like, we as a viewers even know. So, like, we know Angelina is uh, getting a lot of pressure. And is pressurized to do a lot of things and which she is not accustomed to. But my man Tasya, he has like he is something else. <laughs> like we know, like he like forcefully, like uh, not forcefully, but his emotions were sealed because of his immense amount of power. So that is something else. Like you being unable to. Uh, like feel any emotion uh, except the only mission towards your sister like Yeah, I don't know
<clears throat> okay, let's say. Uh, let's start. Okay. Where are they going making a group? Oh, okay, all right. Okay. Berlin mask. Yep, that's hmm. serious. Let's go. Oh. Ooh. Damn, these guys. Okay, she can move, Lim Dodge. <laughs> mm, okay. Oh boy. Yep. Like, she thought that she was the best, but now, like, seeing all of the other people. Oh, no. Oh, boy. Okay. Damn. Wow, that was fast. Okay, mid, mid air. Oh. Oof. Okay, game over. What about Angelina? Yeah, extract that out. Wait a minute. Erica stabbed him to his like torso. Is he okay? Okay. Oh my god, this guy's okay. Come on. Uh. Mm -hmm. Oh no, she's mad. Hmm. Oh no. Well, you are in their country, so you have to at least listen. <laughs> Oh, well, yeah, she is a swordsman. She has concentration and observant. Oh, yeah, she killed them. One of them, isn't it? Okay. Mm, yeah. Okay. Oh my god. Who the hell are you guys? Okay. Oh. Uh 
okay. Well, we have one like hand to hand guy, Leo. Damn, the music. <laughs> Yep. Yep. That's serious. <laughs> wow. Yep. Oh. Yeah, but that won't work here, that means. Yeah. Uh, okay, okay. Yeah, you can just freeze them, like. Oh. Okay. Damn, the music is amazing, like... Oh, wait, what? Was this some kind of a suicide warming or something? Okay. Oh. Oh no, okay, oh, I thought maybe something happened to Leo. Yeah. Okay, Leo was there. Hmm. Oh boy. Okay, one thing I noticed, Pixie, like, is only kind of, like, working for Tatsuya. Like, she did not do anything when they were, like, uh, in trouble. I'm not sure if that is something... I'm not sure that is something that I'm mistaking. Like, it might be my mistake, but I'm, like, looking too much into it. But... Like, she was just standing there, but when Tatsuya said... She was like, yeah. Okay, but yeah, it, it's kind of like thinking about it like that, like Pixie kind of like uh, originated because of Tatsuya's feelings. Oh boy, yeah, they're like targeting Pixie. <laughs> yeah, what will you do now? Like, this is a pretty bad. Oh boy. Oh! What the hell? <laughs> yep. Oh, well. <laughs> yeah, kind of. That's just said that you have to like, yeah, stop them first before. Yeah. 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 
Oh boy. Oh no. Well, yeah, you need Tastria's help for this. Oh my god, what the? Oh. Okay. Mm -hmm, yeah. Yeah. Magic that affects the mind. Okay. Okay, what? Hmm. 50-50. Okay, that's better than nothing. Okay. 10 seconds. Well, yeah. Okay, let's see what Tasia does. Wait, what? Oh, is it is this some kind of an illusion or something? Oh no, uh, this is uh, Mikiko doing it. Okay, sorry about that. Oh, the seal. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I think uh, the the seal is like Oh, okay, Sh like, okay, she's helping Miyuki to see that, okay. Oh my god, Jesus, damn, woohoo. Oh my god, that was that was great. Well, in the blink of an eye, everything like just. Okay, it's gone. Just like that. <laughs> okay. Well, Lena. Lunar magic. Oh. Yep, you're getting to know that. Oh sh he Hmm Yep Fair bargain
no no people will believe them because this is tatsuya <laughs> Okay, let's go. Okay. Well, she is... Oh boy. Kurawa. Hmm. Like this too. Oh, 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 okay, okay, yeah. Yeah, Taz's influence is in here. Like, I think he kind of uh, like reminded me of himself. No, not that, but. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that, that also applies. Hmm. Yep, as I said, like it reminded him of himself. But the mm, yeah, yeah. I think it will like help her later on like to make decisions for herself because she knows that yeah mm -hmm. I 
Okay, that's the end. Okay, um, yeah, as I was saying, like, uh, now Lena knows that there is someone who sh probably he, she can go for help later on. So this will, like, uh, really help her self-confidence later on. Because, like, he knows that, uh, she knows that she has a backing. If, like, she wants to, like, get out of the uh, organization. Like, we know she has many... Um, like reasons why which probably we don't even know because uh, the reason why she cannot get out of there so yeah it is kind of like a help that's the end okay uh, this kind of uh, I think uh, wrapped up the whole uh, parasite thing I'm not sure if like uh, they're going to have any more problem with the parasites or not We'll see in the next episode uh, will probably be revealed to us and okay uh, this episode um, it was full <laughs> of fighting and everything like actiony so yeah and uh, we got to see a few uh, cool techniques like um, a lot of them especially uh, Angelina's and the whole uh, the computers that they did uh, Miyuki and Tatsuya and uh, uh, the I'm not sure, but just a sec. Uh, the snake, like the thing that kind of like the parasites took a form of, um, that was uh, one, two, three, five, six. I think uh, I'm not sure how many heads it had. <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I'm why the hell am I counting the heads? One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine heads yeah it had nine heads okay <laughs> anyways <laughs> um yeah uh so like i'm not sure what they did but um mikiko kind of sealed it not sealed it but uh stopped it in his tracks for 10 seconds and um uh, miyuki and tasio took th that time and uh, for like the preparation of their magic and i'm not sure what they actually did what the actual like thing that they did like the kind of um like i thought at the beginning i thought that maybe they were like uh like miyuki was going to uh, like lift the seal in tatsuya uh, as he usually does by kissing uh, his forehead but um i don't know like uh oh and, and we also saw previously that uh, tatsuya also kind of did the same thing from yuki so i'm not sure what they actually did in this uh like instance but they kind of like uh merged together but not merged but they're like silhouettes kind of like came on top of each other in their mind and uh, that kind of uh, I'm not sure but I think uh, amplified their power and Miyuki was able to like uh, freeze it in the blink of an eye just like that so yeah oh uh, and those, that also I think kind of like gave her, like her the ability to sense the parasite as she was saying that she was unable to properly like locate it like uh, that also like gave her that kind of uh, power so she was able to properly uh, neutralize it. Mm. Yeah, and uh, okay. One thing I I don't know. Like I might be looking too much into it, but uh, I think like uh, Pixie uh, and like <laughs> I don't know. Like she is more like like she is more helping for Ta like she's helping more for Tatsuya. But in this like episode. I'm not sure if is this is something that I'm like taking too like reading into too much or not. But uh, when they were fighting uh, the parasites, Erika, Leo, uh, Mikiko, and Pixie was also there. So like she barely did anything. Like she was just standing there. When, like w even when like she, they, she, they were attacking her, going to attack her, Leo had to come in and like help her. So I don't know. Maybe that was like. Maybe the reason for that was because, like, um, Monoka did not give any kind of an order to her. Was that the reason? Because obviously, like, we know, like, uh, if Honoka somehow, like, gets into some kind of trouble, Pix will go and save her. Because obviously, that is, Honoka is, like, uh, the source of her feelings. So, she will obviously, like, go and help her. Like, in the, one of the previous episodes we saw, like, when she was in danger, Honoka, uh, Pixie came in and, like, saved her. But in this case, because Honoka herself was not in any direct danger, 
She, being an android and a parasite, she was unable to take any decisions for herself unless and until Honoka gave her like the order. But Honoka did not do anything uh, at that time. Most probably because she was like startled or something. Like she is now, like uh, like not accustomed to this like 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 huge amount of fighting. Like this is like complete like going out there and fighting for your life. I'm not, uh, I think she is not like accustomed to it. So. Yeah, usually like newbies kind of hesitate in this situation and I think uh, uh, that was the reason why like she was just standing there and uh, like if and also like I think uh, the whole main thing about Pixie is she will listen to Honoka and she will help Honoka herself if Honoka somehow comes in danger. I think the same is with Tatsuya as well. Like if somehow Tatsuya comes in danger, which I doubt <laughs> because that's Tatsuya. Anyways, uh, <laughs> Pixie will also go and um, help him if a situation like that arises and um, I'm not sure about what she will do if she herself gets into some kind of a trouble will she like help herself because of self-defense I'm not sure because in this episode she also kind of get caught in danger but Leo came in and saved him she did nothing just stood there and another thing she will do is like if Tasya gives her an order or a request she will like follow that so yeah i might be like looking too much into it but i like that's the kind of thing i got from the whole um like situation like when Tasya uh, called like uh contacted <clears throat> pixie and said that i need you for something here come and help me she was all like happy and said yeah I'm coming and just went on her way so I think that is more like it and uh, okay and that was the whole thing with Pixie and then uh, the whole thing with Lena now like like we already know like she is not accustomed to it she was unable to uh, like uh, hide her own identity first of all because obviously she is kind of uh bad at like lying <laughs> kind of <laughs> excuse me kind of but anyways um that and the assassination the everything she's not accustomed to, to all of this but still she has to do it i'm not sure why like if she if she has some kind of uh obligation to do it not sure like we barely know anything about lena so yeah and um another thing that kind of also affected her was like she like all of these times she knew that she was the best as she said that i'm the strongest magician strongest now um like the world is vague so definitely he she will come to meet someone who is superior to her which was tasuya here and the same kind of applies to Tatsu as well like we are like under the impression that Tatsu is the strongest here I'm not even sure if that is correct like this is just something that I and I think most of the people who watch this anime thinks who are like new to this anime and don't have not read the light novel or anything so like like I at least think that Tatsu is the strongest but I might be wrong like uh, there might be someone else who is stronger than Tatsu so yeah, so like the, the, this is a thing like there's always someone better than you like you can't do anything about it So like she was under the impression that yeah, I was the best But then when suddenly like someone came in and just like started doing the things that she was able to do So easily and like effortlessly and she started to have kind of uh, um, I don't know like uh, started to have a little bit of a complex Purity complex and started to think that yeah I thought uh, that I was the strongest maybe that is not it so that and all obviously like she has a, a bit more pride than the others that also kind of affected her and those were the reasons why she suddenly like uh, became like this like the whole stress of the assassination was also getting into her and uh, like the whole pressure and everything also the uh, fact that she has like she is not the strongest these things kind of like mixed together and I think she, she kind of like became like this in this episode she was like just like charging mindlessly I'm sure she would have been able to uh, handle the situation better if she was calm in this episode and uh, like she is strong like definitely she is strong but she was like just 
like charging forward mindless in this episode obviously because of a mental condition so i think she probably would have been able to handle it much better if she was calm and like did everything calmly but yeah it kind of affected her and she charged in and that's why i had to help her and that also kind of like made her angrier and everything like it was like a mixture of emotions she was sad angry jealous uh, like kind of like tired of all the things that were happening so yeah that was the reason and <laughs> later on tasya gave her um a path not not a choice but a path like i'm not saying this is a choice because obviously this like if this was a choice she had to either like yeah i accept it or no i deny it which she kind of did she said that no uh like i don't want to take that thing so i'm not uh, like mentioning it as a choice the thing that tasso gave her was not a choice it was a path which will obviously be still open and still be there even if she like denies it now she would be able to come i think so obviously like she gave her a path to like yeah if you are like uh feelings like are not able to carry this on some day uh like uh just like come to me i have a few acquaintances i'll be able to like help you which is uh i think immense because obviously like uh in the whole like army situation she was feeling trapped and everything uh with all the expectations all the everything that was on her shoulders so i think that helped her and she would probably like uh be a lot more confident in the future like uh i doubt if uh, like angelina will like take the path uh that she has given her but like even if she does not take the path and accept that she has uh like help she would probably like um gain confidence and be able to like handle herself better because of this choice that tasya gave her this path this opening that tasya gave her and she would be able to like handle herself a lot better later on in the future because this is uh, not uh, like this was not some kind of a choice this was more of a um, like mental or emotional help that she got from tasya so yeah we'll see uh, like in the future we'll see and that and also we got to see a little bit at the end uh, when like kuroba got uh, like, in, like came in front of uh, what was his name kudo yeah kudo uh, and like that old man and like said that yeah both of us want this thing there are two of them so let us just like take it one and one and she's pretty damn scared like obviously like this old man is something else <laughs> like look at his eyes like <laughs> anyways um so yeah uh that and she kind of like thanked to tasu at the end and i think that's that was like the reason why she, like kudo kind of like backed off like she like he knew that tasu is someone who is uh pretty damn good and i think she like uh, kudo has something in store for tasu yeah, later on i'm not sure Uh, so because of that she he said that yeah uh, just take it like it's nothing so <laughs> yeah that kind of helped because like tasya's influence is immense <laughs> like when someone gets to know tasya like really gets to know tasya and this old guy kudo he himself is pretty strong so he would be able to gauge the amount of power the amount of uh, like intelligence and everything that tasya has yeah Yeah, it kind of helped her in, in the end. Uh, Goba, <laughs> that's him, man. Like he is something. <laughs> okay, and yeah, so that was this episode. Now, uh, I don't know. I hope there are a few episodes left. The whole Parasite situation kind of got resolved. I hope Tash will go and meet uh, her aunt, uh, his aunt, and the whole family will be introduced because we still do not, I think, have one or two more. Not one i think one more uh the like character left to be introduced in the opening we see kuroba and another guy i think like uh, that's a male isn't it yeah another guy i think they were like they're most probably brothers and sisters i'm not sure so i am hoping 
they go to like Aunt Maya's residence and we get to see everything. Like I was really excited for this from the first season. Like I wanted to see the whole um like her aunt and her his fam uh, not her, his family, his aunt, his family and everything. So I hope in the few episodes that are left we get to see that. So it's just something that I wish. Anyways, so yeah guys, and uh, this was episode number 10 of Mauka Koko no Retose, season 2. So if you guys enjoyed my reaction, press the like button, subscribe if you're new to the channel, or you haven't subscribed, please be sure to do so. And comment down below anything you want to say about this episode, anything you want to share, I'll be sure to check them out. So, so yeah guys, um, I'll be back with a new Mahoka Koko no Retose season 2 episode next week, same time. And by the same time, I mean like it will be uh, a bit like earlier. I usually like did that in the like, uh, like, uh, like publish this epi episode a bit later than I'm doing. So I'm doing this because of Attack on Titan. So yeah, same time. Uh, which is this time which you are watching now so yeah <laughs> so yeah guys uh so yeah i'll see i'll be seeing you guys in the next uh in next week in, in the next vid uh, episode so until then goodbye and have a nice day